everyone, Dubstep Rod here. The second Town Star competition ended a few days ago, and the third one will begin in just a few hours from posting this video. I'm going to share my experience on how the second competition went, and share the details for the next competition, as well as some news on Town Crush and a free NFT we can get for Town Star. The second week competition did go smoother for most people. By the sound of it, nobody reported any rollbacks. I believe they did turn off the rollbacks for that competition as well. I did a blue steel build for the first time ever and ended at rank 605. I was doing about 11 blue steel per hour on average after I finished my build. I had several setbacks too. Since it was my first time doing blue steel, I had to move stuff around, which wasted time while I was working on my build. Also, my laptop restarted a few times, and even my game crashed a few times, but I got Townstar running back up fairly quickly, so overall, pretty successful. Okay, so let me discuss the next competition. You've probably already heard, but for the next competition, we have a different set of rules. Most people refer to this change of rules as the meta, which means the most effective tactics available. Basically, another way of saying the strategy to win. You want to follow the meta because that's going to give you the most stars, which helps you rank higher in the leaderboards. So there are six specific items that will give you more stars this time. Jet fuel, pumpkin pie, chardonnay wine, cake, uniforms, and candy cane. And they made it so that uh, blue steel gets way less points. I guess they got tired of seeing everyone sell blue steel. So that's fine. Uh, if you want the new values for the stars these items earn, you can check the Town Star announcement on the Gala Games Discord right here. And I also have that information listed on the Town Star playbook in the change logs page. And also on this new page called Items Meta. And I made it a different color so people hopefully realize that this is different. The other items page might be hidden while this meta is actually in effect in the game so just keep that in mind and the next competition is even shorter so it's only three and a half days long so try to finish your build as fast as possible so now i'll go over my plans and suggestions for the next week's competition i am personally going to do jet fuel and either cakes or uniforms because it depends on which tile i can actually get my hands on so of course I suggest you mostly focusing on setting one or two items on the list of things that gives more stars this time around. Uniforms are easier to get than cakes in my opinion, so I will probably do uniforms. I suggest only going for a desert tile this time around. The oil seep that comes with the desert helps you so much for gasoline production, but you can also utilize it for uh, jet fuel production. So if you've never done jet fuel before, basically for every one refinery doing jet fuel, you want two or three refineries doing petroleum. And you want your fuel storage to be closer to the refineries doing jet fuel. And you want to make sure you build your petroleum producing refineries in a spot that has at least two passive crude oil from the oil seep, because that way you won't be wasting time producing crude oil and having workers move it around and taking it up too much time just to make petroleum. I suggest the desert tile you pick has an adjacent ocean or river tile, or multiple river tiles if possible, but those are harder to get. Uh, if you get an ocean, you can do cakes, otherwise do uniforms, in which the rivers will then be very helpful for that. You could also do pumpkin pie if you really want to. I suggest the desert tile you pick is not north orientation and to achieve this you want an adjacent tile like an ocean or a river to be blocking it from the north side. If you don't know how to predict tile orientations I do have a video on that. If you haven't seen it that goes uh, over that. But essentially the reason you don't want a north orientation desert is because the oil seep will be near the middle of the map. And if you're going to be making jet fuel, you're going to have a lot of refineries all around and they will cast a lot of pollution. So it can be a bit harder to set up where your crops are going to be. And one last thing I suggest, and this is mostly for the new players, but make sure you are on the competition server if you're trying to compete for the top 2000 prizes. 
I've seen a lot of people play for a few days and realize that they were not even on the competition server to begin with. That sucks. Uh, now some bit of info on Town Crush. It was supposed to be playable on May 16, 2022, but looks like it was delayed a day. Some people, like myself, did get to play it for a while since the play button was there for a few minutes. And let me tell you, it is significantly harder. I didn't get to play too long, and I only made it to level 4, but it really did get harder even at level 4. Uh, please don't use your executioners on the early levels, except for the free ones you get from your NFTs. So if you see something like plus 1 or plus 2 on your executioners, those are the free ones you can use every game. Uh, so do use those, but don't use all your executioners on the inventory until you get to maybe the last four levels in my opinion the first levels you're better off just keep trying to restart and get good luck get good combos and clear it that way you will probably still have to replay lower levels and grind them for star coins to buy more executioners they definitely make the executioners more expensive i saw they were going for 2500 star coins each which i believe it's 10 times more expensive than they were on the first play test. So yeah, that's gonna be rough. They are selling star coins in the Gala Game Store. It looks like 25,000 star coins for about $25 worth of town. I don't recommend it as I don't think that is worth it. You're better off just playing and grinding it out. But yeah, Town Crush should be available some hours after the Town Star competition goes live. So I'll be playing it on my phone while I'm waiting for stuff to build on my town, which I'll have up on my laptop. And some of you may have heard news on the free flower storage NFT. They did confirm this was legit. And if you play Townstar for at least three days starting now, you should be eligible for the free flower storage NFT, which it says should be distributed sometime in June. We don't know more information on this NFT right now, but once I get good information, I'll add it to the NFT objects page in the Townstar playbook. I do like the idea of the flower storage NFT, since I'm always selling flower in the beginning, since I have an epic wheat stand, so I can produce flower faster. Well, hopefully I was able to help you out with my information and suggestions. I wish you best of luck on the next competition. Should be more fun since they changed around the meta this time so that's great uh, thanks for watching and until next time